Number 16 from the 2018 SQA Higher Maths paper to nine mark question here. And what's this involved then? You can see you've got functions of functions. That should be okay. The first three marks are for getting these two functions of functions. The final six marks though is for equating them. And you can see in equating them, obviously you'll have an equation. With cos it will be a trig equation. And with a 2x and an x, it's a double angle trig equation. And it's always, it's the worst one. It's the cosine one. The one that makes a quadratic. One way thing you notice is there are no degree signs. That's quite handy because you get fed up writing them down. Although they don't penalise you if you don't put them down. But it means it's in radians though. Anyway, the first part should be okay. What are these two functions of functions for these three marks? Well, f of g of x. So what are you going to feed into f? You're going to feed this in. You're going to feed in 2x. So that means what does f do to it? f does 3 plus cos of whatever you feed into it, which is 2x. Now that's worth two marks. One for realising that you feed gx into it, so it operates on g of x, and the other just for getting the result. Now this one, g of f of x, well that means you're going to feed in f of x, so you're going to feed in 3 plus cos x. Now this time you're not getting the same mark because you're just doing essentially the same thing. So what does g do to anything you get give it? It'll do two times whatever you feed it. Now that on its own is the mark. But I'd probably tidy that up to 2 cos x plus 6. Now for part B, determine the value or values of x for which these two expressions are the same. Notice again it's in radians, so x would be between 0 and 2 pi. Well that means that this expression, I'll write it the other way around, cos 2x plus 3 should equal that expression, 2 cos x plus 6. Now there's one mark for equating the expressions, but now I need to bring it over to one side. So you've got cos 2x minus 2 cos x minus 3 equals 0. Now that's not worth a mark because you just jumbled a few terms about. The mark will come from expanding this. Now luckily it's only one of them. So that just means you look up the front and you choose the appropriate form so it matches cosine only. So that gets replaced by 2 cos squared x minus 1 minus 2 cos x minus 3 equals 0. That's worth a mark. And then finally for tidying it up into a quadratic, 2 cos squared x minus 2 cos x minus 4 equals 0 gets another mark. So that's not so bad. All you have to do is make them the same and then change the double angle to a single angle by using that double angle formula. Now you've got a quadratic so you can factorise it. Now you can either divide everything by 2, which is completely correct, even though they say do not penalise the absence of the factor of 2. Or you can keep them happy, for whatever reason it is, and take the factor out and leave it uselessly sitting there, since 2 can obviously never be 0. Minus cos x minus 2 equals 0, and now we're going to factorise it. Remember, this is a quadratic in cos of x, not x. So to make cos squared, it must be cos x times cos x. To make 2, it can only be 1 and 2. If the middle term's negative, it means this outer one's negative, so this one's positive. Now, that's worth a mark. There's only a few left, so now I've got two solutions to this. That means either cos x is negative 1, or cos x equals 2. That's worth a mark. Run out of room, so we'll take this one first of all. Now, cos of x is negative 1 has got a solution. Remember, the graph of cosine looks like this. It only gets to negative 1 once, and that's when you've got 180 degrees, or in this case, pi radians. Cos of x equals 2 has no solutions. because the cosine can only get as high as 1. There's no value of x that can take you up to 2, which means the final solution to the whole question is x equals pi only. And that's
that's the final mark.